To rewrite these equations in standard form, we need to write them so that we have some coefficient of x plus some coefficient of y equals some constant. So that means that we need to have, have it solved so that x and y are on the same side of the equation and that the coefficient of x is not negative, or in other words, it's positive. In our first equation here, our first example, we have y equals 5x minus 7. Now the 5x and the 7 are on the same side, and the y is on the other side, so we need to collect our variables on one side. I'm going to do this by subtracting 5x from both sides here, minus 5x. This will go away. We'll have negative 5x plus y equals negative 7. And now since our coefficient of x is currently negative, We'll divide everything by negative 1, which basically just goes through and changes all the signs. That'll give us 5x minus y equals 7. Now it's in standard form. For b, let's do that in a different color. Okay, I'm getting confused here. For b, we have y minus 2 equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 3. So the first thing we should do is distribute here. We'll get negative 3 times x. That'll give us negative 3x. And negative 3 times 3 will give us negative 9. And y minus 2, whoops, sorry. y minus 2 stays on the left-hand side for now. Then we'll combine our uh, numerals on this side, our constants on this side, and move our x over. So we'll add 2 to both sides and add 3x to both sides. And our 2's will cancel over here, and our x's will cancel over here. We'll have 3x plus y equals negative 9 plus 2, negative 7. Now our x coefficient is positive. Both our variables are on the same side, and they're equal to a constant, so we have it in standard form. And then finally for c, C, we have y equals two-thirds x plus one-half. Here, my coefficient of my x is already positive, so let's bring the y over and kick the one-half the other way. So we'll subtract y from this side and from this side, and subtract one-half from this side and from this side. And then our y's will cancel, our one-halves will cancel, so we'll have negative one-half equals two-thirds x minus y. Now our coefficient of x is positive, x and y are on the same side, equal to a constant. We have it in standard form. If it looks more convenient to you, you can actually swap the sides of the equal sign, although it really doesn't matter at all. But then it would look a little more like the standard form, two-thirds x minus y equals negative one-half.